Hey, this is a tutorial on how to take your 2007 PowerPoint presentation, narrate it, and turn it into a video. So in this example, I only have one slide. Um, it's the same process for if you have multiple slides. So you see my slide is complete. Um, that's obviously the first thing you want to do, make sure all your slides are complete and ready for your presentation. Once they are finished, you go up to the ribbon up here at the top, go to Save As, and it saves it as whatever you have your PowerPoint presentation saved as but instead of saving this as a PowerPoint presentation if you click on this drop down you see you have a long list of different um, file types you can save your PowerPoint as and we're going to save them as JPEG files these are just picture files and then uh, make sure you save it to a, a known location I'm putting mine on my desktop just to make it easy so then I click on save and you see it asks you do you want to do you want to export every slide or just the current slide um, so obviously if we have multiple slides we want to click on every slide and then it tells you that um, each file each power each slide in your presentation has been saved as a separate file so we say okay there so we now have each of our slides our PowerPoint slides saved as a picture so now we want to turn those into a slideshow and narrate it so I'm going to use a free program called uh, Microsoft Photo Story 3. Go to Start Menu and scroll to it. Photo Story 3 for Windows. If you don't have this file, you can download it for free off of Microsoft's website. So we're going to open Photo Story 3, begin a new story, click on Next, and you see now you have the option to import the pictures that you just exported. So you just browse to wherever your files are. Mine are on my desktop. Scroll down, and you see it puts them into a folder with the name of your presentation. My dream car is the name of my presentation. So then when I open that up, you see there's slide one, and then if you have other slides, then they would just be named appropriately. So I'm going to select the slides that I want. Hit OK. And you see it imports it into my photo story. Um, from here, you have options to change the color, you can rotate it, so if you need to rotate it left or right, you can do that here. And then you click on Next once you're done with those options. And then once you click on Next, you then have the ability to put effects on your picture, so you could make it black and white, or um, you can just, you see here, you have a list of, of options for editing the effect. Also, if you wanted to put a caption on the picture, you can take care of that here. Uh, whatever you type in here will appear on top of your picture but my picture already has a caption at the top so I'm not going to worry about that but you see you have um, font options you can so you can change the alignment of it um, both horizontal and vertical so once I'm done with that I click on next one more time and here's where I can narrate my slide um, so you just click on the record button here to record over it once you click on record you will see that it, it'll ask you that it it'll it'll just start recording for you um, after you're done recording you hit stop and then you can preview what you've done uh, by clicking on the preview button here and you can go ahead and see what it's like so the way that it's set up right now the picture is just going to be still but if I want the picture to move so that the viewer actually sees the picture moving so it's more like a video then I can click on customize motion and then you see uh, you have the option under motion right here to specify the start and end you don't have to mess around with these settings so right now you see that the full picture is selected and over here you see that only part of the picture is selected so what this is showing you is that it starts with this view and then it ends up with this view so in this example this one just kinda zooms in a little bit but you can specify the start and end position so that means if I want it if I want to just start maybe with the view up here on my dream car and then I want it to zoom out to show the full picture over here then what I would do is I would resize this box so you see now only the selected area is what it starts off showing and then over here I would just resize this box to show the full picture and that's what it would end up with so then if you want to see what that looks like you click on preview and you'll see that it starts with the small picture and then it progressively will get bigger to the to the example over on the right hand side there so once you've made those adjustments you click on preview and you see it starts off by looking at just the section on the left 
and then it progressively moves to what you have selected on the right. So if you like that, you can go with that, click Save. If, you, if not, you can adjust those settings by using the Start Position and the End Position. I like that, so I'm going to click on Save, and then it will take me back to the section to customize the rest of my slides. I'm going to close this, and you see my dream car is up there. I have narrated it, and I have also selected the custom motion. Uh, you don't have to customize the motion, it just makes it a little more appealing to the people watching it. Um, you select your narration, and you click on Next, and from here you can actually select music. So if you have a music file you'd like to put to your um, presentation, you can do that. Or if you click on Create Music, it actually has a little bit of um, stored music in there. Nothing fancy, but still it'll, it'll at least put some music to your, background, to your presentation. Uh, you can go through the different genres and then you can click on different styles you see here you have lots of options you can preview the music by clicking on play once you find something you like hit ok and it will put that music file to your presentation as you preview it if you notice that the music is too loud uh, the, the music playing in the background is too loud and you can't hear yourself then you can adjust the volume of the music here I usually like to put it less than halfway, maybe 25% or so, maybe even less than that. That way you, you hear it in the background a little bit, but it's not the focus of your presentation. But still that music would fill any um, pauses or voids in, in your presentation. Once you have all that selected, you click on Next. And see here it says, what do you want to do? So you name it, whatever you want to name it. Um, it by default will go to your videos folder and you see it's going to save this presentation as a WMV which is fine to upload to YouTube so if you want to change where it's being saved you click on browse if you're okay with where it's going then you just click on next so you'll see it goes through the process of creating your video so once your video has been created it'll tell you it's completing it's done and you have the option to view your story right here or create another one uh, in my case here, I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to upload my video to YouTube, so I'm going to click on Exit. And you've made changes. So right, this is where you would actually save your project. Um, so you can go back in and edit the music or edit the narrations, any of those things. So now we've got our video file. So I'm going to mouse on over to my YouTube account, uh, log into my YouTube account, come up here to the top and click on Upload. This is where I upload my video straight to my YouTube account so you just browse on over to your video depending on where you saved it select the file to upload click here and mine is in my videos folder so I click on videos and depending on what you named it um, you just remember that from the other one here it is photo story one click on that open and it's uploading to your YouTube channel you can name it name your um, story depending on what it is a description in here any tags um, you can adjust the privacy settings here so if you want it to be available to anyone on YouTube leave it as public otherwise you can make it unlisted or private um, you save those changes and it will upload with those changes you just made I hope this helps and good luck